A new day, and another monster girl. Welcome, Erky, how are you? It's quite early in the morning, I do apologize, so if I sound off, blame that, but... Welcome to the Dryad Forest. It's full of trees, and only trees. Now, if that seems kind of weird to you, um, if you understand why it, the Dryad Forest is full of trees, that's another case entirely. So, without further ado, Monster Girl number 15, the Dryad. The Dryad belongs to the Dryad family. Its habitats are forests, its nature is mild, gentle, and passionate. Its diet is the nutrients of the earth and the essence of human men. The Dryad is a tree-dwelling elemental. Though strictly classified as a demi-elemental, Dryads are first born as monsters. For more on elements, we'll get to that later. A Dryad spends her entire life in one tree, drying when it dies. That said, by sucking the essence of a man, she can keep her tree alive for thousands of years. Her abundant mana will protect them from fire and malignant diseases that sometimes sicken trees. Dryads are usually mild-tempered, though they are merciless to those who disturb their forests. They attack their enemies, restrain them with creepers that crawl from the ground, and fling them to any nearby monsters who are starved for sex. Dryads are highly passionate in matters of love. They are said to seduce any man they fancy, trap him in their trees, and mate with him there in a secret house-like space carved into the heart of their wooden homes. It is in there in thorough obscurity, that the man enjoys sweet and ardent congress with a dryad and a succulent wetness between her legs. After he has tra been trapped in the tree for some time, the man becomes part of it, unable to escape as the dryad continues to love him, and, like his monstrous partner, unable to die until the tree withers. This may seem tragic to humans with little knowledge, but within the tree, the man never tires of the sweet, tender, and chthonic pleasure of making love to his dearest wife. Furthermore, dryads often have local communities where dryads and their husbands can visit other dryads in their trees. It is assumed that this unique tree society staves off feeling of isolation. Dryads go grow considerably by imbibing the essence of men and come to exude a sugary, viscous resin from their skin. It is common for the Arthropoda monsters to come lap up the resin. From outside, it looks like they're only licking the tree, but in the world of the Dryad and the man who live within, an entirely different scene unfolds. The tree expands, embracing the new monster and inviting her to join the other two in a fierce three-way congress. As the tree of the Dryad grows, the space enlarges, and more and more monsters visit. A man often enjoys daily orgies with the Dryad and other monsters, until the Dryad is sticky and sodden with the release of her favorite feast, the resin of her man. This forest was not an addition to the Garden of Eden. This was just built around it, so everyone who has succumbed to the Dryad's love has been here for quite some time. But, let's look on the bright side. You have 15 Monster Girls under your belt, and you have 5 more to go before you are awarded the Bronze Medal of Monster Girl Hunting. So I congratulate you all. And, if you haven't already, subscribe and like the video if you want to see more. I'll see you all out there, Hunters. Goodbye.